Hey everybody, my name is Tiara and welcome back to my channel. You are watching Tiara Takes, where I am giving you my takes on all things travel, tips, advice, and other things to help women like you on your travel journeys. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a travel vlog that I put together of a day of my life in Grenada. I spent some time there this year, about three months on the island doing a solo trip, and I really discovered some really cool things about the island. And in this video, I'm showing you a typical day of hanging out in St. George's, Grenada. I hope you enjoy. <music> All right, so my day started off in Grand Anse where it is easy to catch a bus that will take you directly to town. So here it is. And after about a 15 minute ride, I was dropped off right here in St. George's, the colorful capital city of Grenada, where there is a lot going on as you will see further along in this video. Let's go ahead and walk to the Chocolate Museum. have arrived at the House of Chocolate Grenada Museum. Now that we're inside the House of Chocolate Grenada Museum, you can see many of the products that are being sold here are made with, of course, chocolate. Chocolate is a big deal in Grenada and especially at this awesome museum. Here you can see several different kinds of chocolate products from chocolate bars to cocoa butter, which I highly, highly recommend for anyone who has scarring or anything on their skin. That cocoa butter is the business. You can also see all kinds of cocoa nibs. There are cocoa tea balls, cocoa powder. There are so many products made with chocolate here at this museum. And of course, because it's the Chocolate Museum, you can find pretty much everything you're looking for as it relates to chocolate. Another cool thing about the museum is that they have a really cute cafe inside where you can purchase chocolate treats, of course, teas and coffees. And every 20 minutes or so, the museum has an instructor that does a demonstration sharing some history about cocoa and chocolates in Grenada. And here's a look at some of the other locally made products that you can purchase in the museum. And here I am leaving the Chocolate Museum, very happy with my purchases. You can't see my face, but I am smiling. And directly next door to the Chocolate Museum is the Grenada National Museum. And I thought I would share this with you guys because look at this courtyard. Isn't it so cute? And as we continue walking, we are further down toward the Harbor of St. George's. The area is called the Carinage, and as you can see here in this video, it was busy. This video was actually taken on a Monday morning, and as you can see here, there is bumper to bumper traffic. But let's not look at that. Let's look at the beauty of Grenada. Do y'all see that? Just gorgeous. Let me turn around so you can see this 
again. Look at this gorgeousness of Grenada. Get into it. Such a beautiful place. I had to turn around and give y'all this view. Shout out to the people sitting in traffic. Turning around here slowly so you can see more of this lovely area. A couple of the boats here and I'll continue walking so that you can see a little bit more of St. George's Grenada. All right, everybody, I need to make a quick stop over at the food fair, which is right there along the harbor, so I didn't have to walk too far. I just needed to grab a couple of essentials to make dinner for that evening. And here, I'll go ahead and show you the receipts for my purchase. It came up to about 106.02 EC, and that is equivalent to around $39 US. All right, let's go ahead and continue our walk. So we have made it to a very, very bustling part of St. George's. And this is actually where the cruise ship passengers are let out to explore Grenada. And I just want to say, side note, shout out to my left arm for making several appearances in this video. <laughs> I did not know that I was walking that hard, but you know, it is what it is. A shout out to my left arm. <laughs> But anyway, as we continue to walk, you will see that we are coming up on the Esplanade Mall shopping complex area, which is again where a lot of cruise passengers get out and check out the area. This particular day was actually um, a little bit more calm than usual. This was not a cruise ship day, so I did not see a lot of cruise passengers or any cruise ships docked, but there still seems to be a lot going on here. And I just love this sign. I think it's so cute. So I had to share this with you guys because I think it's just really fun. But here is a look at the shopping complex. For my final stop for the day, I made my way over to St. George's Market to grab just a couple of more items before heading back to my Airbnb. The St. George's Market is busy almost any day that you attend. And as you can see, we have, of course, spices on sale and on display, several varieties because, of course, Grenada is known as the Spice Island. And here at another booth, I made a stop to grab some produce, a couple of items to uh, add with the dinner items that I got over at the food fair earlier on in this video. So here is a look at me purchasing those items. All right, now I have everything I need. It's time for me to head back to my Airbnb. This has been today's vlog in St. George's Grenada. Thank you for watching. And there you have it. I hope that you have enjoyed today's vlog, enjoyed spending some time with me, learning a little bit about Grenada, but also a little bit about me. Um, for me, one of the best things to do in Grenada is to go down to St. George's because you really get to see the essence of what Grenada has to offer. Lots of fresh fruits, local foods, local produce, lots of entrepreneurs, people out selling things, people who've made local products, local crafts, 
All those things are readily available. And then of course you have the Chocolate Museum, which is just the gym, in my opinion, of all of St. George's. There's so much to do, so much to see. It's lively, it's fun. It's very different from what you find on the beaches. It's a totally different vibe. It's bustling. It's the city, there's lots going on, it's loud. There are children in school, there are people out and about. You'll have cruisers, tourists, all kinds of people. But that is what I really love about St. George's is that the, it offers so much of a variety. So that has been today's video. I hope that you have enjoyed this ride because I have enjoyed making this video for you. If you like this and you like my face or you're having a good time i would love for you to continue to join me on this journey so please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also feel free to like or comment or both i would love that as well and that's going to be it for today until next time y'all please always remember you only go around once so you might as well enjoy it